Ahoy, ahoy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Black Flag video. In a previous video, I had shown the exploration of Santa Nillas. In this one, I'm showing the exploration of Mysteriosa, which is another uh, Mayan rune where Kenway has to find some Mayan stones. And once you open it up with the leap of faith, you can fast travel to it and not waste such a large amount of time sailing unless, well, you want to take down some ships like I'm doing now. So let's get on with the exploration of Mysteriosa. As is with any location, the first thing you want to do is get to the high point and synchronize and doing so unlocks the entire map and opens up the uh, ability to fast travel for Kenway to get there. Now these runes you gotta climb around a little bit and as you're moving around there will be treasure chests nearby and possible objectives nearby. You can hover you can harvest them or get them on your way around, which I'm doing now, or you can wait until you unlock the high point or the viewpoint. In this case, I'm taking the Animus Fragment and the treasure chest that are immediately available. Now, I'm going to ignore the bottle and find my way to the viewpoint, or wait, nope, I decided to go for the bottle with this one. What the heck? Hit the bottle. That's what Kenway is going to do. Then we will move on to get to the high point. And I guess I will do some fast forward once I'm done with this. And let's see. Letter. If you get all the letters, they tell a story and you do get a reward for doing so. So I'm going to do a little fast forward to the high point and the leap of faith. And now we are at the main viewport point for Mysterioso and Kenway can perform the leap of faith. In doing so, again, once you synchronize the viewpoint, you unlock the whole area and allow for fast travel. That's why you need to start unlocking viewpoints is the ability to fast travel. Now that Kenway has unlocked the island of Mysterioso, um, he can go look around for treasure and other such things. There are two Mayan Stella that Kenway can look for. There's also a map, which I will explain the importance of treasure maps in another video. And these treasure maps lead to improvements for the jackdaw or gold, which is, again, another important thing to improve the jackdaw. But I digress. So let's get on with the uh, exploration of Mysterioso. This is the first Mayan Stella on Mysterioso, and as is with all of the Maya Stella, you climb up, you interact, and you line up the shapes to indicate where the buried Stella is. This one seemed a little bit finicky and hard to line up, so yeah, I played with it for a little bit, and finally it lined up and 
moving shapes and wiggling this thing a little bit. Finally lined up and indicated where the damn treasure was. Yeah, it, it was just really finicky. And that's what sucked. Now to get to the Mayan Stella with a leap of faith. Good. Another keystone. I'm going after the other treasure chest, which is on this upper level area of uh, Mysterioso. It's called Cerulea or whatever the map is, but it's Mysterioso. And this treasure chest is up here. Then I will be going after the treasure map, which is on the lower level, or maybe, yep, there we go, a cadaver with a treasure map, and it's on a lower level, so it's 29 meters away. Let's see if I can get Kenway down there. It's actually 12 meters, so it's not too far down. And leap of faith. Yeah, I'm turns out I'm a little off here because it's on an upper level. Well, that sucks. So let's get to the cadaver. In order to get to the cadaver, you have to drop down from the area where you can grab the animus fragment, which isn't too bad. And now there's the cadaver. And as I said, treasure maps are very important. This one will actually end up showing a location for wealth. It usually will say on the map if it is something for Improving the jackdaw, like an elite mortar shell or something like that. Now, these treasure chests that are real close by, I'm going to have Kenway walk very slowly and get caught here. But the treasure chests are actually. Hmm. Oh, this stinks. They're in a cave somewhere around up here. Or down here. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward to the next treasure chests. The problem is with these Mayan runes, the developers sometimes build in small hidden caves and they can be kind of hard to locate. Now, these two treasure chests yield some decent uh, loot, booty. Almost said booty. Well, I just dead. And on my way to the next Mayan Stella, I'm going to take down the next treasure chest. Now, there is hunting in this area. It's monkeys and i believe it's just capucine monkeys uh rarely is there howler monkeys but if you're not trying to craft certain things that really doesn't matter but again hunting it's a good way to uh, increase the bottom line there's the treasure chest real easy to get to and then the stella is not too far off from here and the good part is there is a boat which will take 
can we immediately to the Jackdaw once he lines up the Mayan Stella and finds the stone? Another keystone. With that, Mysterioso is unlocked, and there's really no way, no reason to come back unless there's a mission. And again, there is hunting, which is good and bad, but what I'm going to do is send Kenway back to the Jackdaw, and then leave the Jackdaw to go hunting. But again, Mysterioso is fully explored. So, if you come back, you do so for a little hunting adventure, and that's about it. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, then hit the subscribe button, and then the bell icon, and you will be notified when I post videos. I post four videos a week. And that some of them are uh, video game videos, some of them are unboxing. It's mainly video games, but there will be random types of videos throughout. And if you don't want to miss out, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks for stopping by.